Hi guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode Guide with me, Redneck Einstein. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing good. So, um, this is episode 5, and in this episode what we can see is my rocket that I've redesigned. So what, for some reason SAS wasn't working, so I've repositioned the, um, the crew uh, module on top. And then I've put the inline stabilizer underneath and added some battery packs on the on the sides and that is pretty much it. I've also added actually a um, temperature thermometer so what we can do with that is log the temperature of um, log the temperature here on the surface of Kerbin so we just keep that pretty easy. We can beam that back if we want to at some point. Now one thing I've forgotten to do during the course of this is observe the materials bay while here on the surface so we get 7.5 science for that now we're pretty much ready to go so if we just take a look at our um, resources we can monitor our resources as we're flying so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off now hopefully with SAS working uh, which I've just pressed T to activate it we'll be able to get up into the upper atmosphere and uh, shouldn't be a problem because we're not having to battle the stability of our rocket so all of our fuel and resources are going into propelling us straight upwards. Now, once you get to around sort of 10,000 meters or a bit less, I like to tilt my rocket 90 degrees. Now, just all you need to do is find 90 degrees on this nav ball on the bottom of center of your screen and then start tilting your rocket right. But obviously, that is not going to work right now because we don't have enough stability in our rocket. So I've kind of messed up a little bit. But the principle is once you do that then you're able to go up into uh, orbit because you need to fire off at a certain angle in order to achieve um, an orbit around the surface of Kerbin so that being said we've wasted a little bit of fuel doing that but no problem if you want to cut the fuel like I did you just press the X button just press the X button and that cuts all fuel to your rocket and uh, cuts the engines and there away you go now the reason I haven't thrusted or turned up my thruster up too much is because the closer you are to the surface of Kerbin, the more fuel you're wasting. So the further up you get, the less effect gravity has on your rocket, and so you're better off burning with uh, more thrust the higher up you get. Now, we don't have very much thrust on this rocket anyway, but the principle is still the same. You don't want to be going too fast around 250 meters per second up to about 10,000 meters and then you can go a bit faster up, as a rule of thumb I would say um, so up we go up 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 we go if we press M to check on where we are in going to achieve we're going to get to 92,000 bit less because that's decreasing as the effects of gravity play out on our rocket but that's pretty good so if we just press M again we can see it's it's, it's dipping down to around 91,000 meters. So what I'm going to do is press uh, and observe the mystery goose. We get another 2.3 science. Again, it's not great, but we should be able to monitor the temperature um, in our next flight. So we've used all our mystery goo. I wonder if I observe one here. Will that make any difference? That's another 2.3. So not a lot of science gained on this mission, but there we go. Not a problem. So now we just need to wait for our rocket to plummet to the ground. And on our next flight, using uh, all the science and stuff we've got, we should be able to get some more um, readings of temperature. So if I log the temperature here, so that kind of overwrites it. So I'm just going to leave that now. But we should be able to get a temperature from further up in the atmosphere, giving us much more scientific data. Now, on our once we've landed and we're going to rebuild our rocket in this episode, I'm and take off again obviously I'm actually gonna add a bit more fuel to it because I think we're able to do that now so we're coming down quite fast we just want to save our rocket yeah I'm definitely gonna add more fuel to this bad boy all right we're coming down nicely activate our parachutes and plummet in safely to the ground and Jebediah is back in charge good job Jebediah so review the data no crew report we get 3.5 science. Hey, I can see my house from here, I think. Yeah, of course you can, Jebediah. So I, I know all these missions are not terribly exciting. You can't actually get to um, 
any planets right now. But very soon, once we've accrued enough science, in a couple of episodes time, we'll be able to get to um, the moon, I'm pretty sure. If not, a nice orbit around Kerbin. So let's go ahead, recover our rocket. YouTube 4, recover. And we get 17.6 science. Press next. Next, we've got another 8,277 funds recovered. So all is good. Our bank rollers in the Kerbal Space Department should be very happy. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a quick look at the research tree. Now if we want general rocketry, we can get more rocket for 20 science. But what I really want is to get the um, advanced flight control. So I'm going to go ahead and not activate anything or not unlock anything right now. But if you want to, you could get general rocketry. It gives you a bigger solid fuel booster. It might be worth getting actually. A liquid fuel engine again which we've already got and a bigger fuel tank which is basically the equivalent of two of those smaller ones that you can see there so maybe we should unlock that let's, let's, why not let's have a little play around and then what I'm gonna do is add that giant liquid fuel rocket to the base of this rocket so get rid of that smaller one and add that giant one there drag this up a bit now remember we've what we want to do is take some science data from further up in the atmosphere. Um, obviously, we know this thing can still land. We can start beaming back some um, information now if we want to. Now, that new um, liquid fuel engine we unlocked is only ever so slightly different to the previous one. So, usually, I don't mess around and change it. I'm not too bothered. So, let's save this as YouTube 5 because this is the YouTube 5 this is the fifth video in the series. Let's go ahead and launch this. See if we can get further. See if we can get more research points. Remember, our aim is to get up into um, some sort of stable orbit. Now, if we just go over what we've already unlocked. So we can get three science from reading that, which is you know negligible. Crew report, don't really get anything. Observe materials bay. 1.6 not really worth worrying about let's take a look at our temperature just don't get anything so now we can monitor our temperature from higher up in the atmosphere now i'm going to go ahead and launch now this solid fuel booster has obviously got more fuel more power so it should take us higher up in the atmosphere and we may even be able to start thinking about trying to get an orbit i think we'll we'll aim for some sort of orbit whether it'll be successful or not, I'm not sure because the control of this rocket is not especially great right now. Basically, we're we're happy if we can go straight up <laughs> at this stage. Um, but there we go. Let's get rid of that. Burn this rocket and away we go. So let's just zoom in and have a little look at our temperature readings. So we get 5.6 science. So that's from the environment close to the surface of Kerbin. That's pretty cool. Crew report, no, we've already done plenty of those before. Observe mystery goo, 0.4 science, we've already done plenty of those before. And observe materials bay, again, we've already done plenty of those before. So what we really want to do is worry about how much science we can get once we're further out in the atmosphere. That's the aim. Now, I think I could have added more liquid fuel engines. Obviously, the more weight that's above that solid fuel booster that was there um, will decrease the height uh, that we can achieve before we jettison or get rid of the solid fuel booster. So, you know, we won't be quite as high up before we activate our liquid fuel. So uh, it's not really too much to worry about right now. Um, we seem to be gaining some good height right here. How high are we going to get? Let's have a look. So at the moment, we're heading for 70, 77, 79, 80... Getting some nice height. We've still got our rocket, so I'm just going to decrease our thrust right now, and we're going to aim. We're going to be getting a good height right here. So what I'm going to do is just leave that right here and show you how to do some of the maneuvers once you're out in this portion. This is how you actually travel to the moon and stuff. There's the moon. Okay, so what you want to do is at your apoapsis, the height of where you are, you want to start thinking about creating maneuver. So Obviously, right now, we are still flying upwards. And let's say we want to fly to the moon. So, basically, you right-click on the moon. But for some reason, that's not working right now. So, all I'm going to do is 
give us some more thrust, fly out as far as I can into the atmosphere, and then collect some science readings. I don't know why that's not working. Maybe it's a bug or something. But let's now zoom in and see what data we can get. So review this data. We can get 5.6. Let's keep that. Let's do a little crew report. Get no science. We've done that before. Observe materials day. Can we get anything decent? We get 25 science. The microgravity has greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around the bay in a very messy but fascinating way. So let's keep that data. Lovely. Let's observe the mystery goo now with this high up in the atmosphere. Only 0.1s do. Uh, still, sorry. So that's really not worth worrying about. So the mystery goo are not really giving us anything right now. So I think on our next uh, video we can remove those and worry about the temperature and get in some sort of orbit. Now this is about as high as we're going to get. Oh no, we have reached 150,000. Maybe that will be different on observing the mystery goo. Let's have a look. No, 0.1. It's really not worth worrying about. All right, now we're just going to plummet back down to Kerbin. Ah! We set a world first speed record. Let's have a little look at what records we've achieved. We've achieved contracts. Nice. Achieve a land distance of 17 kilometers from Kerbal Space Center. Obviously, you need to start working on a, a orbital trajectory then, or just fly sideways, basically. Um, now, let's just increase the speed of this. So we can recover our vessel. Now, uh, this is cool when it starts burning up in the atmosphere. Maybe we can get some useful data here from the mystery goo. Let's have a look. 0 0.4. I'll keep that. It's, it's not much, but what about from this part? I'll keep that as well. It's nearly one. We got a good portion of our data from the, um, from the Science Junior, which is awesome. So that might unlock something else. Now, we don't want to crash this, so let's open our parachutes. You really need to open your parachutes before about 500 meters um, in order to land safely and give them the maximum time to reduce your drag. There we go. So now our, our rocket looks like it's going to tip over. Will it explode? No, thank God. All right, let's do a little crew report here. 1.5 science, not bad. I think I'll beam that back. Starting transmission. Can we see? There's the little antenna. And you should see it retract now. Awesome. And let's do an EVA. Ah, oh, no, the vehicle's instructed. So if we press Q or E, we can rotate the rocket. So then we can get to the crew hatch and little man can get out. So we can do an EVA report here. 5.6. Lovely. No comms because he's not inside. So let's do. Uh, let's go back inside our rocket. Transmit that back and then I'll show you how to control your Kerbin outside of your rocket. So let's review our stored data. Transmit that. Starting transmission. Boop, 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 boop. A little antenna comes out. There he is. Awesome. Right now, if we get our Kerbin out again, we can press space to let go. And our Kerbin is now free to walk around on the surface. Look at that. How awesome is that? Ta da He's facing the sun. La, 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 la. Now, if you want to make him jump, press space. If you want to um, control your rockets, press R. And you can see him grab hold of his rockets. Let's do that again. R grabs hold of his rockets. And then you press shift to boost upwards. Control to boost downwards. And left and right gives him a sideways jet of air. You see that? So that's that's all there is to it, really. So now he's off the rocket. I just want to see if I can gather some science from the floor so we can get another 2.4. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? So we keep that data. We'll go back inside our rocket. If we can grab it. F, climb. There we go. Go on, son. Grab hold of it. Go on. He might not be able to at this stage because... Um, <laughs> rockets all tilted upwards but it doesn't really matter if we go ahead and press shift go back to the space center recover this vessel and we should see a nice healthy boost in our research uh, points so let's go back here you need to recover two things you want to recover um the rocket and jebediah so we've got 39 science now which is all good jebediah kerman let's recover him another 2.4 so we're up to 41 science lovely so let's go back now let's take a quick look at the research tree. See if there's anything available that will aid our um, flight to try and get 
into orbit. So that's 45, that's 45, and that is 45. So we can't unlock anything right now. But the next flight should be pretty cool. I think we can begin to add more fuel to it and get into some sort of um, orbit around Kerbin. We'll definitely have a go anyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Join me next time to see if we can get into that orbit. Take care uh, and uh, share, like, and subscribe and comment, please. It'd be nice to hear from you. Take care. Bye-bye.